Where is that? Yu Zhen Tai, Yu Zhen Tai. Today we'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide about what to do when you come to a local Chinese hospital and each process that you have to go through to avoid any confusion and make things easier. So the first step when you come to the hospital is you need to get a number. And when you get the number, you need to say which department that you need to visit. If you're not sure which department to visit, then you can first go to the front desk to ask which department that you need to ask for. If you speak Chinese, obviously you can just ask them directly. Or if you've brought a Chinese speaking friend to help you, obviously they can help you. If not, it's recommended that you use a translating service or an app on your phone or another way and communicate in Chinese to the people here. Hi, so I had an accident on my bike and I hurt my shoulder and I'd like to get it checked out. A little bit, yes. Maybe I need an x-ray. Okay, at some hospitals, at the counter, they'll have this type of booklet. They'll give you one upon registry if needed. When registering, or taking a number as it's called, you'll just need to tell them which department of the hospital you need to visit. So once you've got this booklet and this card, then you can find the department that you need to go visit. There'll be somebody in a yellow or orange jacket, a volunteer, to help you out too. So you can ask him and show him your paper. No, right here. <laughs> so when you get to the department area that you need to visit, you can do one of two things. Some will have a machine here and you can scan your card in the machine, which will register that you've gotten to the department and it'll put your name in the line. If they don't, then you can give your information straight to the doctor or the nurse at the desk and they'll put you in the line. From there, you can sit in the waiting area and the patients will be called one by one to be called into the individual examination rooms. The number of the examination room that you're to visit will be next to your name when it comes up. About two hours later. Okay, so when you're in the consultation room, you'll speak to the doctor, and then he will make his recommendation for what you need to do next. In the system, he'll put all his information on this card. The next step is that you need to first pay. So you need to go to the counter where you pay, the place where you get your original card and booklet, and the counter where you pay, are the same one and you'll hand this card to the person behind the counter they'll swipe it in their system and what you need to pay for and the services that will be rendered will pop up on their computer screen you can then pay for it using virtual pay or any other method and then proceed to the next step um, where do i go next okay okay thank you second floor okay thank you all right second floor out that door let's go Room six. So find the examination room that's indicated on your sticker. Mine says number six. And wait outside the examination room for your name to either be called or appear on the screen. So scan the barcode here in this machine to get the results of your test and move on to the next step. So if you're prescribed medicine, generally the counter to get that medicine is also located on the ground floor, but it's a different counter from where you originally got your number. So what we'll need to do is head over there and give our card to the person over here at the pharmacy counter. So after you've gotten your medicine, you're ready to go. If there are any additional reports that need more than 24 hours, then you'll need to come back and get them again next time. If you need to seek any additional treatment, you can also come back and try to bring the records, the booklet and the card and everything that you had before for reference for the doctors when you arrive next time. Here are some additional tips. In the area where you live, there will be a smaller community level hospital. Simple illnesses like a cold or similar issues can be treated there, as well as basic health checkups. These larger hospitals can be busier at times, so it may be better to visit smaller hospitals for more simple issues. If you can read a bit of Chinese, or if you have a Chinese speaking friend who can help you, you can register your visit in advance on the WeChat mini program of the hospital you plan to visit to save waiting time. You can also make an appointment with a particular specialist this way if they're available. Different hospitals may have slightly differing specific procedures, but the basic process is the same. So we hope that this video can be of assistance if you do need to visit a local hospital. We wish you the best of health during your time here in China.